100% of US fish now contaminated. FabFi gives Afghanis homespun internet access and the dolphins bring home an Oscar. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Monday, March 8th. A new study by the US Geological Survey reveals that every single freshwater fish tested in 291 freshwater streams across the US was contaminated with mercury. The seven-year study found that all fish, mostly those at the top of the food chain, were contaminated with mercury. More than two-thirds of the fish were higher than the EPA's level of concern for fish-eating mammals, with 25% contaminated at levels too high for human consumption. Many attribute the mercury epidemic to coal fire power plants. Interior Secretary Ken Salazar said the study shows just how widespread mercury pollution has become. Members of MIT's Bits and Atoms Lab have taught locals in Jalalabad, Afghanistan how to transform trash into a functioning wireless network called FabFi. Using pieces of board, wire, a plastic tub and some cans, the MIT team, now dubbed the Jalalabad Fab Lab, were able to create reflectors for a wireless network. The resulting 25 simultaneous live nodes across the city means residents now have access to a stable connection for Skype calls and Google searches. Locals are now even expanding the network by adding reflectors and routers, with extra hard to obtain routers being shipped in from the US. And finally, The Cove took home an Academy Award last night for Best Documentary Feature. Rico Berry, who once trained Flipper and starred in the film, told Planet 100 that he hopes the Oscar win will bring worldwide attention to the needless dolphin slaughter in Japan and the mercury poisoning that results from eating dolphin meat. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news.